Alright guys, welcome to another video. This is going to be discussing Cliff Kingsbury being a strong candidate for the Washington Commanders uh, offensive coordinator position, my take on it, and so on and so forth. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on TikTok, like this video on TikTok. Uh, do all that good stuff. So let's do this. Alright, um, Cliff Kingsbury, uh, apparently, you know, a deal fell through with the Raiders because it looked like he was going to be um, a uh, offensive coordinator for the Raiders, but that didn't uh, work out uh, too well. So apparently he was asking for too much money. The money didn't work out or whatever. You know, I'm not here to talk about the Raiders uh, and all that other stuff. So um, now um, he may be a strong candidate for Washington. Uh, me personally, like I said, I'm Dan Quinn. Uh, again, I'm not going to get too hyped on it. A lot of people are starting to warm up to the move. I'm not warming up to the move until Dan Quinn actually does something drastic and something impressive, in my opinion. So, um, Cliff Kingsbury, it would be an interesting move, offensive coordinator. Now, um, you know, Caleb Williams is, is a guy to look out for. You know, the, the USC connection um, for, you know, with those two guys, even though uh, Lincoln Riley, uh, called the plays, but, you know, obviously, you know, Cliff Kingsbury and, um, uh, Caleb Williams do have the connection, so, uh, we'll have to see if, if Washington would want to move on from two to one, uh, from the number two overall pick to number one, uh, if they, if they want, um, if they end up getting Kingsbury and if he pushes for, uh, Caleb Williams, so, um, uh, you know, let's, let's look, let's look at his stats, um, me personally, again, I'm okay uh, just because we're not going to get any one better, guys, uh, honestly speaking. Uh, this is too late in the game. Um, Kingsbury is not that bad, aside from that, you know, his final year as the Arizona Cardinals head coach when him and um, Kyler Murray got into a fight. But, you know, you know, um, got uh, DeAndre Hopkins the ball a lot, um, ran the ball with James Conner. James Conner went from Pittsburgh to... And elevated his game in, in Arizona. So, you know, it is, you know, that was interesting there. Um, let's see. Uh, went 5-12 and 12 with Kyler Murray. Um, their first season went 8-8. Eight and eight, uh, in Their second season. And then started out 7-0. and 0, And then collapsed and had that 11-6. And they just got bounced by the, by the Rams two years ago. But, again, um, made Kyler Murray uh, look nice, look good. Um, made DeAndre Hopkins look good, uh, coached Patrick Mahomes at Texas Tech, uh, you know, let's see who else, Case Keenum, uh, coach Case Keenum, and, um, uh, whoever else, uh, I, am not really good, well, I don't remember who else, but, uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes is, is a guy that stuck to me, and obviously, you know, we know who Patrick Mahomes is, so, um, like I said, I'll take this move. I'll be okay with it. Just because, uh, just like I'm okay with the Dan Quinn, you know, I'm whatever about the Dan Quinn move. You know, it is what it, it is, what it is there. Um, so, uh, Chip Kelly is another guy. I'm not banging on the table for Chip Kelly. Um, honestly, uh, you know, he, former head coach of the, of the Eagles, uh, you know, failed there, like had only what one, one winning season or two winning seasons. And that and and that was it. Um, you know, beefed a lot. Of, or, you know, ran Lashawn McCoy out of town. Ran a lot of other guys out of town. Deshaun Jackson as well. I remember that. You know, got into a massive beef with Deshaun Jackson that forced Deshaun Jackson here to Washington. So, um, uh, I wouldn't care for Chip Kelly. And also, he was a failure with the 49ers that one year. He went what one in fifteen or something like that with the 49ers. So, uh, don't care for that at all either. I don't know if it, I don't remember what college he's the OC for, or if he does something in college. No, I don't remember. Uh, Y'all, you know, let me know if you if you guys know. Um, but we'll see. Um, like I said, I prefer Cliff Kingsbury over Chip Kelly. Uh, I honestly don't care at this point. Got to bring someone in here to to help Dan Quinn run this offense because you know we see how Dan Quinn, um, you know how defensive coaches, defensive minded coaches run the team. And try to run it too much. Um, I honestly don't think it would be a problem if Cliff Kingsbury, you know, runs this offense because he's not going to be the coach. He's going to be uh, the offensive coordinator, and that's it. he's only going to be in charge of the offensive guys. So I feel like uh, if he can get along with the offensive guys like Terry McLaurin, uh, guys like that should be fine. But we'll see how that goes. 
But um, already all, uh, that's it. That's all. Like I said, make sure you guys uh, check me out. Subscribe, like, follow, do all that good stuff. I'm out. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.